salvage is finally possible thanks to 318 now out in the PTU. I'm Voidwalker Joe, and in today's video, I'm going to give you a quick rundown on everything you need to know on becoming a scavenger within Star Citizen. The first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure you go out and buy a tractor beam for your multi-tool, as you're going to need this to be able to move the RMC boxes that automatically get generated from your vulture, so you can go ahead and put them on your cargo grid. Once that's taken care of, you could start traveling to any Lagrange point as salvage wrecks will be scattered around these locations for you to scan and find, much like scanning asteroids for mining. Once you're there, you'll start to see these salvage icons pop up around you. Now you can go ahead and press V to enter scanning mode and start scanning the different wrecks. Once you find one that you want, go ahead and press T to target the ship and then make your way over. Now that we're here, let's go ahead and take a look at the HUD and all its features. In the top middle of your HUD, you'll see your cargo capacity, which will tell you how much of your 1SU box is filled up. Next, you'll see your extraction rate. Along with that, you have the percentage of material that is left on the highlighted section of the hull, represented in yellow on the screen. On the left and right, you will see the two scraper modules you have access to. The cinch scraper module and the abrade scraper module. The right mouse button will change between the cinch scraper module and the abrade scraper module for both sides. And below that, you'll see the properties for whichever module you have selected, whether it be the cinch, abrade, or anything else. The diameter is how much surface area your module will cover. Your speed is how fast the module can extract the material. And efficiency is simply how well your module performs factoring in those other properties. And here you'll find the distance to your target, which you'll have a maximum of 150 meters away. Here you can see the different parts of the ship being highlighted with different colors. Red meaning it has the least amount of material. Yellow has a little bit more than red. Blue being better than yellow. And then green having the most amount of material. And lastly, down here at the bottom, you're going to see two circles with percentages in the middle. This is the amount of material your beams have access to. You want to keep this above 0%. You can see the distance of the two smaller circles in the middle grow farther apart or closer inward. This is your convergence of your two beams. You can control the two beams convergence by hitting the left alt button and using your scroll wheel in and out. Once your RMC box is filled, you'll see a warning message saying it is ejecting. You can fill up two RMC boxes before your station gets jammed, needing you to go down with your multi-tool and move them to the cargo grid with your tractor beam. You'll see that your RMC boxes are highlighted in green as you move them. They can be snapped to the cargo grid of your vulture, allowing for the final jammed box to be pushed out. It's also worth noting that on the interface of the machine itself, you'll see an auto eject when full check mark there. You can uncheck that if you want to manually eject it yourself by pressing the eject button. Now it's time to go sell all those RMC boxes that you've collected, which can be sold at any TDD on any planet. As you can see here, the RMC is sold for a pretty good price, but keep in mind that these prices can fluctuate before hitting the PU or after. And there you have it. Thank you so much for watching the video, and I hope this helped you out a lot. Please like and subscribe for more. That's it for this video. Once again, thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.